current manga, so. Hmm. That's interesting, though. Yeah, it's just... I'm going to say... All right, guys. Thanks for joining the After After Dark, where you get to watch us eat pizza. Hey. To watch y'all eat pizza. <laughs> watch the hell of the See you. Tonight, we got a couple things for you. A couple topics we want to hit up. And we got that interesting, can't believe it's not butter, fake airbrush from um, <laughs> Mr. Hobbies. So, surprisingly, I gotta say, it can't actually airbrush. functions. So it's not trash. But, but it's not treasure. It's not I get treasure. It, <laughs> Um, so we're going to do two tests for you guys. We got a couple spoons. We're going to test it with the basic Gundam marker straight out the, you know, if you cracked open a Gundam marker and you shot it, see how that works. And then we also, it also comes with their specialized nubs that you can replace, which for a clean, 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 being clean, <laughs> I would suggest doing that on a fresh marker because you want to have all that ink all over the place. So we'll check that out in a moment after I scarf down this pizza. Had a thought for a drinking game for the viewers at home. Every time I say something either totally socially inappropriate or <laughs> or totally bigoted, y'all got to drink. So when are they going to stop drinking? That's right. This is for the next two hours, I hope you Please guys don't have drive. a 30-pack. Right. Funnel. So uh, we should alert y'all. Just do this before the be sales. So that way people you know, are loose. Yeah, they... They, they buy shit because they're drunk. Thanks. Where'd the pizza go? Oh, what pizza? Ran away. Oh, 3D moment. <laughs> Open the box on the screen, let them see what they're missing. <laughs> so this is pizza from Antonio Pizza's right whoa, next whoa, door. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Support your local. Support local. Don't plug them until they give us something for free. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I have pepperonis. I mean, I like can always small. give us straws for free and stuff. Yeah, when you use free the spoons. bathroom. Oh, take a smash. <laughs> Don't smash in the kitchen. <laughs> That's a house rule. <laughs> That's fair. That's appropriate. There we go. Yeah, support Antonio's. Don't go in after me. <laughs> <laughs> Drink. <laughs> That's me, right? Yeah. I I yeah, it's not me. <laughs> Talking your plate. Yeah. All right. What's the other things we want to talk about? Um, one of the topics. The <laughs> yeah, this was about to go so wrong. <laughs> about to cut my eye off. <laughs> yeah, save that for the save that for like the like a cheese, you know, like a little not the cheese but the smile. Paint it into a horror. Oh, see, it frizzed me a thing. So with all the uh, GBWCs going on across the world right now, one thing uh, we were talking about was how presenting your model, right? And not, we're not just talking about for competition. I'm just talking about in general. I think it's really nice to put them in a box. Put them back in the box when you're done and put them in a closet and hide them from everyone mm -hmm. so no one knows you that you scene. have like 3,000 model kits. <laughs> and you came in 15th place. <laughs> Out of 17 people. I came in 17. But, real talk. Um, so the idea is like, most of us just build, and maybe we put them in a pose, and we just leave them, right? Maybe we put them on an the action base. That's okay. And... Um, Obviously, doing dioramas is a pretty sophisticated skill. Um, not crazy, not crazy skill, but just you know, it's, it's moving up in the in the levels. <laughs> but I think there's something to be said about just basing your uh, your finished product. You know, whether it's an action base that maybe you paint. I've seen people do some amazing detailed paint jobs on those like little, uh, you know, these action bases. At least the first ones. Had really nice detail, which you probably can't mm. see, but they had a lot of nice like wires and stuff like that uh -huh. detail they can in the um, action base. So that'd be a start. You could paint that up. You just throw a little appreciating, or I seen, like I said, I've seen people do you know paint the bigger wires, you know, brass or bronze colors look really nice. Or 
since we play Gundam Skirmish around here, we threw magnets in the feet of our guys, and you put them on a coaster, and that's a pretty good looking base. Yeah, it make, you know, and it actually helps with the posing with the magnets on the metal base. It really does make a big difference. And um, same with the action bases. Like, you can't pose that Sananju real great without a base. That thing is a time bomb waiting to happen. It's a total grenade. But you put it on a base, you give it a nice little pose, all of a sudden you don't worry about nothing falling off of it or nothing. You know? And then here is probably one of the simplest things you can do. This is a piece of... Um, Styrene, foam. It's the foam they use in the walls. So yeah, insulation you can foam. The insulate. Thank you. Exactly. That's why we bring Zach around. Yep. <laughs> insulation foam. Everything. So um, this is the uh, green one from Lowe's. You can get Pink Panther stuff. This stuff for an eight by four sheet, which is actually what my tabletops are made out of, is like. Fifteen dollars. Imagine how many things you can make out of that. Oh God! Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Chad asks from the internet here, from the interwebs on the Facebook Live. He's asking us, what do we suppose size magnets would work best? You know what? With these, if you get a really strong Irad cells, um, oh, earth magnets, earth Neo magnets, Damian. Yep, they're really tiny magnets, but they're super strong. Mm. And when they connect up, they're as good as gold. Those things do not move, and in fact, they kind of can help you with your builds too. Um, I know a lot of builders that are doing like Warcraft or Warhammer stuff. They'll like drill the holes out, set a magnet in, and then you get a lot of extra parts and bits and things, and you can swap them out with the magnets. I've seen I, guys do that with Gundams. Yeah. So if you want to put, even if you want to holster a gun on this on it, then you've done that, right? Yeah, with yeah. the dumb. Right. I so you, thought about bringing it tonight, yeah. but I didn't. You holster a gun on his hip, right? And you think about it, these are advanced. Max, why wouldn't they have magnets that would hold the gun into place and they could just grab it and the magnetic field would release and they could then just grab it right off their hip? Add One. guns, add pouches. Say maybe you want to do some kind of armored up look and then you want to take it off at times. You just layer the magnets underneath and then you can armor up like that. I wonder if Meg's on. She wants to see some of that Robotech stuff. Oh, bro, not Battle Tech. Uh, battle Tech, I'm sorry. So one thing Part I can say about that is uh, three with the, dark ones. with the neodymium magnets. There's two ways. Yep. To, there's two ways to do it. You can do magnet on magnet or magnet on metal. Mm -hmm. If you do magnet on magnet, it's definitely going to be a lot stronger, and it oh, yeah, it really doesn't matter what size. Like it's only just well, the, well, the weight kind of doesn't. Yeah. Um, the weight of the whole thing because it's yeah, slides. If you the messages out here. Uh, uh, well, I think. <laughs> and then he's blocking, so. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Touch it on. yeah you do disappear. <laughs> I'm going. Thank you. And there, and you know what's so funny about this? You can't even see them on the camera either because they're too small. But Sean's gone. <laughs> Great, priceless. Quick, st stuff some pizza in now, while nobody can see it. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, so magnets, and if you stack magnet on top of magnet, it only makes the magnetic uh, polarities stronger. I don't yeah. know if that's the right term. Polarity stronger? Yeah, it sounds like, sounds yeah, like that nice. sounds like something you read on, on Zach's blog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here, here we fake it till we make it. That's right. <laughs> so I'm going to say. So the magnets I use in that guy, I believe, this is a long time ago, and I don't feel like ripping his feet off. I believe they are 6.4 millimeters by 1.6 millimeters. Yeah, but they those may have been bigger. Are, I was going to say, but those magnets are still beast, and it doesn't matter if they were even smaller than that. They'd still mm. probably hold as accurately. As, mm. as, maybe a little the less. The weight will make them slide. Like, I mean, you might not be able to do that. But that's stupid. But that's stupid. Good. <laughs> you don't need <Yeah>. all that. <laughs> all you really got to do is make sure that the magnet stays in there. And if you... If you do have to put it in um, between the plastic, you just do magnet on magnet. Right. Because it'll usually still stick. Two magnets, one Gundam? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so back to kind of uh, what we're talking about, basing and whatnot. So that purple styrofoam on the He-Man ball, really, really easy to make and just made that thing look so much like dofer. This is magnets right here. So I put all my miniatures to send by one of those fancy cases and a baking pan magnetize the bases and now they pretty much as I get crazy and like shake it they will stay there 
You know it's crazy though. They started out as full size. They're like shri- they're uh, shrinky dinks. <laughs> <laughs> They were much easier to paint when they were bigger. They were 112, and then you shrink them down in the oven. <laughs> ask ask Meg if she's done looking at these. Make some brownies. Meg, Meg you yeah, done looking at them? Make some brownies. So we, what were they called? We got a Lancer, uh, Battle Lance, a Striker Lance. She says one of each if they fit in a box, a small box. If they fit in a small box. For Meg, we'll make it work. Meg, no we'll problem. I say only things to be careful with magnets is the is if it's unless it's like this you gotta be a little careful with them because like larger because like uh, I've got magnets in like some of my lanes of war tanks and I and other guys are constantly getting their the metal ends of their rulers stuck to it yep <laughs> yeah so so my affinity guys I was playing yesterday and two guys were Hugging a building, and they connect it to each other. <laughs> so, so there's there's a lot of power in those magnets. <laughs> Which is kind of cool that you put in, uh, yeah. put a magnet in a Gundam head, and then put a magnet in a Gundam hand to just like <laughs> grab the head. <laughs> so yeah, basing. I think it really sets it off. All this is a trick I learned from um, Gundam Nerd. I just took a hammer to it. Hammered it up. I don't think I use a hammer. I'm stupid. Like a, uh, it was a, a whole shelf. A yeah, shelf, it was part of shelf. <laughs> So I just smashed it up, and it gives like a crack around. So this would look amazing and tan. It could be like a or like Mars dust colors or something like that. You do all kinds of colorways. Like desert sand. Desert sand, <laughs> of course. What you really can't see from the camera, at least oh, I can't see, with is how sandwich. subtle. There's like um, it was a strong, nice purple base, and then he comes back through with a little bit of like pink dry dusting. Uh, dry brushing and it just really set everything off and it was a really easy build I sat here while I did it it couldn't have taken more than 10 minutes airbrushed down the colors came back through with the dry brush and it was like done and it it really makes a big difference it makes it feel like it's in Eternia now instead of <laughs> on a table wood. yeah right <laughs> <laughs> so yeah definitely think <laughs> about it. basing your stuff you could base it all on a theme you know you could do crazy coasters you could do all kinds of stuff um I can't pull it out, but we have one of the guys made um, a plexiglass, uh, layer plexiglass with my uh, store logo in it, and that's one of the bases. So you can just, and you can get that kind which of plexiglass from Home Depot. Which one is that? That one is in the case. of strikes on it. Oh, uh, Noel made it for me. Yeah, I didn't even, I never even looked at that like that. So, hmm. who looks at a base? Well, so I'm telling you, look at the bases. <laughs> it's all about the base. <laughs> right. So another great example is, and this is what we were talking about because it's kind of brought to the topic when we were talking about um, the World Cup was uh, Tim's Hummingbird base from 2016. That thing was gorgeous. Oh, it was like all <laughs> custom finished. And uh, it really it looked perfect. I mean, it looked like he was Nike and he had made a re- award for Michael Jordan or something right. like that. And that's what he goes to. That's right. <laughs> yeah, and, that, and it was a 75-pound piece of plastic. <laughs> oh, It was wow. just crazy. Yeah. And, um, and then we continued to talk, besides Tim, we talked about um, how important your base is. It can become an integral part of what you're building. So, for example, yep. again, I'm not saying that we can touch this level without lots of practice, but when... 2016 winner, 2017 winner, right? No, 2015 16 winner? I think so. World, yeah. right? World. World, yeah. 15 and 16. This guy, in 15, he did the wood, he did the wooden looking Gundam and part Don't of the base of, the of that world, thing. Craig. Don't the of the world. Right? The base <laughs> of that thing was essentially a block of wood, with, and all he did was take a couple minifigs and make them look like they were chiseling out the, the piece of art. And then, second, the year after that, he comes back, and his base, to the base, to the best of our knowledge, come to think about it, without looking at another picture we talked about, was a mountain of, of Zaku bodies. Like it became a part of his kind of like a model, yeah. Kind of like a, a Gundam battle royale. Oh, yeah. really? Well, it was stacked <laughs> where there was just only one winner, right, on the top. And yeah, and, and like all the countries were fighting to see who would be dominant. <laughs> and America came out on top. RX seventy eight America. Um, yeah. So I think another basis I like is a lot of people take like a, a block of wood, 
maybe like some weather wood or whatever, and then it was like had a top card down there, mm. but they're gutting them at the top of that. That almost always, or I've seen it like, um, I've seen guys do it with military tanks and oh, stuff yeah, like that. You see it a lot like that. that, right? I think that's a great look because mm. you just take a piece of wood, a beam, a four by four or bigger. And all you need, you just put like, you know, some, go to Home Depot and get some stain and you got something that looks like amazing. <laughs> it's a stain piece of wood. Yeah, and, <laughs> and you don't have to spend a lot of money or right. a lot of time. It's You might have it on your house already. Right. <laughs> Reclaiming and reusing, mm-hmm. that's a big part of what, you know, mm, Yeah. gets done in crafting. I mean, hey. You know, another place I see a lot of cool stuff you can integrate into like uh, dioramas is aquarium stores. We have one across the street. All those different coral setups they have, and the driftwood. and oh man, like they have some crazy stuff that just looks alien and mm. foreign, so it would look great in like a space world. Yeah, that's that's all very useful stuff. It's uh, but once you get all all your set, everything set up and based, then it takes you to your next thing, which is just your lay and your paint and your application. Mm-hmm. And mm. that brings us, I think, that was my way of subtly transitioning. <laughs> what are you transitioning to? Let's talk about that air can. I want to see oh, that thing see in that action. Thing? I do, mm. I do, I do. All right. Let me bump. I don't, I don't want to spray on you. You got a spray? Sure, why not? <laughs> Michael wants to know what Sean's doing with a knife. <laughs> and Michael, the answer is, is plotting. Take over the world. Here, so, can, you, can you roll over? Oh. So, let's see, use a... Uh, I already put the... A, there's special nib in this one, but we'll pull this out. So I don't think people know what, what we're even talking about, right? Oh, so for right. those so, who don't even know that this is a thing. So, and I would always suggest this for beginners, maybe. Anybody who's seasoned, especially using an airbrush, you would not go back to this. But for you beginners out there. So this is so stupid. This way. Nice box, and they put a giant safety label on the front of it. Because <laughs> no. you couldn't put it on the back, where it's all Japanese that I can't read anyway, or on the bottom. But that so anyway, like it it's a very nice, nice box. But uh, basically, it comes with can of air, this specialized attachment that you put on top of it. I don't really want to pull it off right now because it might spray air everywhere. But uh, fairly <laughs> medium-sized can air. You get this thing, this is, this is your pressure, brains. basically how much air is going to come out. So the further you crank that down, the more um, air will come out. Um, and then you have a single action airbrush. You can hear that. Um, really skin tu- skinny tubing. I would love to hook this up to my compressor so it's blown off. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot the, the, <laughs> the thing right, right out. <laughs> but uh, so very simple airbrush. Uh, you know, after I blow through this can, I might play around with it some more on the compressor, see what happens, if I can get the attachments to fit. Um, so one thing we already learned about Gundam markers, we weren't sure, is what removes the standard Gundam marker. I know about the fine tips, alcohol works perfectly, but alcohol seems to work perfectly for these too. Low scent, I'm sure you're probably not supposed to inhale this stuff, but we are today. Um, so we're going to do blue, two blues here. So we got blue with the standard... Marker, looks like it's got a decent amount. <laughs> <laughs> Sean, that, that, that's not, uh... <laughs> it, it comes out with alcohol, Sean. It Sean's comes right out. Alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> it, comes, it comes out with orange soda, Sean. It comes right out. I drew on this thing. On his phone? No. On the thing that all right. this time to uh, tape off. <laughs> all right. So, I'm gonna need to learn to it's not that bad, that don't the gun tank. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean, He said, I need all my brain cells. <laughs> so, you need a fresh marker, probably. Because I don't think this is even pulling anything off of this. No, one. no, no, I'm clean it off. There we Just go. Leave it. So, this is gross. Straight marker. It's a little dry, but it's just spitting. So, maybe I overloaded it. Let's, let's try and take a little bit off. Where'd it go? I did it after you said no. <laughs> Mess it up more. Uh, hey, the uh, no, no, the just took a little weight off. The little the box is in the way. No, that's way too oh, low. That's one of the problems. The box is in the way. All right. 
No, it was just, all right, here we go. Let's do another one, because that one's all messed up. No, that's cool. That's probably going to That came out real nice, actually. actually. This is coming out really good. Maybe, uh... Wait, which tip is that? This is the regular tip. So, hey, listen, after you guys have played with real air airbrushes, now you need to come and do this. You can step your game <laughs> no, up. Oh, that's not bad. That would be right. better than the first yeah. one. Yeah, all right, so that is nothing. with a standard Gundam marker, standard tip. So now we will switch to the, uh, let's see if this is a little better. Maybe I didn't have it loaded right. Let's see. Maybe right. you should spray that dance line. So this is their tip. And I guess, yo, know, I am really surprised how well. Now, I'm going to tell you the main problem I would have this system is that you are probably going to burn through air cans so fast. So relatively speaking, this is laying flat. It's a little spotty, but I think with enough coats, you will get it, the spottiness out of it. But I think I'm worried. Well, another problem with these cans is they freeze, too. So that's how helpful that is. Mm. Things I'm freeze quick. That thing's quick. gotta be like, like almost ice. So that's the other problem. You're not going to get a lot of spraying, continuous spraying done, because it's going to freeze up and it's not blowing anything now. But again, that is not too bad. And I think if I had the power I had on the first spray, it would have came out a little bit better. So, maybe you can invent a, a high-tech system to your cans while you spray. <laughs> beer cozy, got it. Yeah, beer cozy, because <laughs> this thing is ice right now. So, really? give it, don't, don't get shaking it. Stop, <laughs> right. Stop shaking it, let Tram it sit for a minute or two. It'll but I'm gonna, I'm gonna say may have a bowl of hot this water. this part and the pen is passable. This not so sure about. So obviously it's a single action airbrush. It's only gonna do like base coating. You're not gonna get any. You can only paint a, a item one color. It's gonna be very hard to shade. Like if you're gonna try to post shade or pre shade, you have to go really far to the outside and then try to come back in. But I think you're gonna dot too much. Hey, so I don't think you're gonna get good any kind of good shading, probably. Maybe or with some real practice you could. Um, different knobs. Like the, the, the inserts. It, oh, did you want to see what it looks like? No, I was just asking, was this a different knob? Yes, that was okay, the uh, so, so which which side's which one, Zach, you remember? <laughs> this is the uh the regular one. This is a Yeah, the lighter one is the regular one, the darker one is the well, one this came out looking one. very matte. Actually. Yeah, that's yeah, that's the regular one. Yeah, you know, let's say it's like the the one that they the one that they pro, special ones they provide seem to be like I don't know, I like, for lack of a better word, awesome. richer. Yeah, and then the other ones like yeah, kind of like a bit duller, but then again, it comes out like less spotty than the other one yeah, and sure one coat. Was running out by then because of the, uh, the freezing. True. So then, then the verdict is probably somewhere close to consistency is always going to be in question. Right, consistency over time for sure. <laughs> You're gonna be sitting here spending three hours to let your can de-ice every time. <laughs> so the question is, if you could hook this up to a very cheap compressor, like a forty dollar compressor, what kind of results would you get? I think that's the more interesting part because this is forty dollars, but for if you already got a, a stack of Gundam markers. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! 40 bucks. 40 bucks. For a can of air and the... And an airbrush. And a hose. And a clamp. And I could probably get airbrushing for somewhere, like, around 100 bucks. Yeah. Amazon. You don't, you don't buy it? Uh, my official verdict is, is I think we're too close to having the real deal. Right. For that to be right. practical. But for if people on a budget... For people Mike's on the saying budget, to put in warm saying, water. You know, for us ballers here at the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> What's also good is with it is for someone like me, it gives me a chance to experiment with with mm, brushing. Just because I'm I'm rattle canning, and after seeing how the models hold up after the rattle can, I think I actually like the the brush better. Right. So this gives me another option to check things out. It's not and especially it's... like somebody like Bill has invested a lot in Gundam markers. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, there's people, I have customers probably have every set that I sold, because I used to sell the the whole sets. So, if you already have a lot and they're still pretty fresh, and that's kind of your wheelhouse, it's kind of a good thing. It's in transition right into paint and buying an airbrush I and all see, that stuff. I can see I can if see you're already in the ecosystem. Right. Yeah. It's, 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 hmm. it's a, it'll get you kind of used to it, and 
it's not as it's intimidating not as a it's not intimidating. Yeah, right. This this it's gonna be minimal cleanup too. <laughs> You don't have to clean anything. Exactly. Right. That's yeah. the great part. Dirty, right. no it does clean. not get dirty. It does not get dirty. That is genius. That's the smart and, part of it. Like it. And the benefit, too, is I don't have to worry about cleaning up. You know, I'm spraying. I lose track of time. I got work in the morning. I don't have to worry about, like, oh, man. You, know, you put a cap on a marker. That's the Hold thing. on. Genius right here. Hold on, come hold on. Up. If you're going to give it out a good idea, you might want to wait. Where's my lawyer? Right. I need a lawyer on. Copyright. Copyright. You saw it here first. If they could come up with a kind of marker or something that could fit this tube, either a paint bottle or something like that, where you stick the same nub in, and then you fill whatever paint you want into it, now you got accessibility to all paints. Hmm. Like at least water-based paints or something like that. That's that opens up a whole new game. I mean, it's still not a great. So you tool, mean like? So you but... mean like an airbrush? <laughs> there's no cleanup. You not having to clean anything. That's a nice so feature. There's no, no intimidation no, no. about breaking the no. tool. Right. Because that's that's one of the major. Problems with airbrushing. A, a expense. Year. B is cleanup, and the cleanup is everything in airbrushing. Cause yes. you don't take care of your tools, and this is the tool you have to take care of. You will be messed up the next time you go to paint. It took me like a year before I used my airbrush. All right. And then like I, I've had it where I thought I had cleaned it enough, dumped the paint into it, spray for about five minutes, and it was all gooked up. And it wasn't the paint's fault. It was because I didn't clean it well enough. So. And then you got to pour the paint out. Had Sometimes you got to waste the paint. So get the needle out because it was. I like you what you're saying. No, so you're out. saying essentially a bottle that fits that tube, right? That has it can hold the, the nib. Okay. And I don't think that would be a, a, a crazy. I could see a third party Chinese company doing that. I could see. Right. <laughs> That's my idea. <laughs> like a water bottle. I can see a, right a Blackwood, New Jersey company starting to manufacture some plastic little bottles. Okay. Hmm. So we Let's can see. Dave says they make her bubble crook markers. A hole in the top. They see in hobby it. stores. Right. They also Put sell the paint, paint markers in, in, in stores. Mm -hmm. So in theory, if they could fit in this holder, which is, it actually has a little bit of flex here, so it could probably fit something slightly bigger. You might risk breaking it. And I'm sure you could fit something smaller. You just have right. to put some tape around it or something rubber like that. Bands, that rubber bands or band the enough. official Gundam Kitchen thin marker <laughs> for airbrush holder. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm sure you can make some clever stuff work with this thing, and for forty bucks, I'm not. Sh I thought they were gonna sell one well without the can. Mm. If they sold just this, no, I need this mm. and a hose that can easily Same. attach to normal things. Because I'm pretty sure this hose is gonna be a problem. So you buy, you can buy air can replacements. You can buy air can replacements, and the original setup comes with right. one. Well, you could probably, you could probably make, you could probably cut an adapter. And for can the I air buy hose. larger cans? Right. Do they make double the size cans? Um, I believe they do. I have one here. <laughs> <laughs> what a segue. What a guy. Check the inventory. What the hell is this? There's so a... this came out. They've had these for a while because they're working to <laughs> use air cans. So this is more than double the size. This is 420. This is 190. I'm so sorry. you can I'm... step up. I'm sorry. I have to distract you for one second. What is that? It's a medicine cabinet behind the mirror. <laughs> it was there? Yes. That's great. That's great. <laughs> Ridiculous. Sorry. Thanks for bearing with us. The world this is This can wild. that's twice the size is only $11. That's 11 bucks. That's 11 bucks. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So now it's a little more intriguing because now I thought, I figured that those cans would probably be somewhere in that $10 bucks, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. yeah. So now, okay. So... The other, the other benefit, too, is without the compressor, it's no noise. Yeah, if you're in an in a area where you can't have a lot of noise, especially if you're, if you're going in cheap, a cheap compressor is going to be loud, or it's going to no. run all the time and be moderately loud and then burn out in like a month. <laughs> so yeah, if you're laying in bed and want to paint a mustache on your old lady, that's <laughs> the move. Man, she'd be so pissed at the cold air. Let <laughs> 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 me all frostbite. Spe speaking of cold air, how's that, how's that can doing? It's warming, but it's pretty freaking cold. I'm you Put stick it in warm it water Seriously, since that's usually it. what you do with spray Right, paints. so I think you would, you'd want to probably start out on warm water, then uh, probably have some hot water right by you and keep it probably going. You probably leave it in hot water where you're spraying it. And it'll probably give it a little longer life on the spray. It may actually make it push hard too because. Yeah, because it's heating up inside, mm -hmm. causing more pressure, yeah. So I think, and this is nice. I, I've seen this spray cans before. I've never seen them with this valve. I, my, I, I don't use these things much, but. So the I, valve I was, control gives you a little bit of control. So you're getting the control there. You have no control here because this is just pushing air. 
but yeah, we're at decent. I'd almost bet that the valve is where the cost of this thing really does. This is all aluminum. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's a possibility. Yeah, I mean, this is probably five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I mean, eleven bucks. The main problems I'll be keeping the, is if you're paying the whole kit, is keeping this warm enough to keep painting without flying through it. Well, I'm gonna tell you, I think a whole kit, every part of a kit of a high grade, you might go through a whole can of this. Mm -hmm. You might go through this whole can. So I might have to accept that challenge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you will. Go Here you go, buddy. Take it home, find out. <laughs> well, you know, with the, with the kitchen's low, low pricing, dollars <laughs> might actually be the difference between what you'd pay on, like, I don't know, some other website or... Right, so I'm not even sure about shipping these things. Uh, this is pressurized air, right? Yeah, no. It has yeah, to go yeah, ground. It has to go ground, right? Mm -hmm. It might it be might, asthma. It likely huh. is. Yeah. Michael's saying he's seen the, right on the back. air yeah. uh, spray valve for, like, 340. So, it's interesting. If, if you are on a strict budget or have an insane collection of gun markers, I saw somebody. And so one of the, um, what's the, uh, what's the gun competition they do? Every Michael year? says the four little... bucks for the can valve. Three dollars and 40 cents. Michael's already priced them out. No, no, no. He's, he's manufacturing them in Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> he's, already got his, he's got his people working on that. <laughs> Ridiculous. So the, the mid-year campaign a couple of years ago, or maybe even last year, had the big giant set of gun markers they gave out with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect. If you got that, why not spend forty bucks and start using them all? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you're not like a hardcore right, builder, so, mm. so that means this that's piece a... right here is the proprietary part that costs like thirty dollars. <laughs> right. Uh, let's see. Compressed air cans are usually filled with a chemical similar to Freon. Does the can mention being in a ventilated or a large area? Uh, if it's it does, Japanese, buddy, I can't yeah. Tell you. Sri it. Lanka, by the way. Sorry, Michael. I've been corrected. Harmon, where's your translator? Keep away from ignition sources. Let's keep away from ignition sources. I mean, we have lighters in here. We can try. This <laughs> <laughs> <It> really works. <laughs> um, yeah, fair. Same rules apply to it as like to it's other sprays. Yeah. Yeah, and um, this stuff gets this stuff gets a lot colder quicker than um, regular aerosol cans. Okay. Right, because they're like just like reminds, reminds me of the green gas with aerosol. Right, it's like exactly. It feels just like green. It, it probably is a green gas. I was suspect. Um, so, yeah, I mean, on on the budget side, so what, what's the cheapest Amazon Airbrush? 70 bucks? Uh, compressor. Oh, uh, out the door oh, with yeah. the compressor? Compressor, think, two cheap airbrushes. Like I want to say, I think you can get between 70 and 85. All right, so you get that one. That compressor, I mean, I've seen some people use that. I think Brax has used this compressor for a while. So, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a compressor that runs all day. It has no tank. Um, <coughs> tank is they have a you get a single action and a double action, usually in those setups. So you get, I think it's one, one's a siphon feed and one's um, gravity. Yeah, gravity. So hmm. the, syph the, gra the siphon feed you use for your primers and probably top coats because you're gonna be throwing mass out, and then the gravity. <sighs> 70 bucks, I would probably say to go for the 70 buck option. You know what's funny is, but if I had a lot of markers, I would think I would do this. I think you invented the gravity siphon. How? With the with the with this pen idea. Because uh, that's what it is, right? It's right. a gravity, it's gravity siphon. siphon. <laughs> huh. Ricardo is asking if the chrome marker <laughs> will work with it. Which. <gasps> Ricardo. Yo. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's asking. <laughs> he's asking the questions. There you go. We got brains on it already. Is there one in there? Huh? We, oh, oh, there is two right markers. Alright, so that's this, not the same oh, size. Man. We might have something <laughs> special here, people. You got a rubber band? Well, let me see. Yeah, we need a rubber band on it. Yeah, airtight. <laughs> I bet you do, Bill. I bet you do. There's a rubber band right here. Right at the table, ready. It was like we planned it it's or like something. Two rubber bands right over here. Uh, yeah, this could be. This could be genius, people. So we have the best chrome marker out wait, there. Wait, wait. People are saying don't do it. No, I'm lying. Of course they're saying do it. Molotol, liquid no, chrome. Like you saying spray it, gloss black first. Uh, we're not doing all that. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got time for that. I might have a black spoon. Would that be good enough? <laughs> you got to spray gloss black first. And we got the graphite marker, too. What's that one? Yeah, you can use the blue as a prime. Who cares? Just... Straight on the blue. Oh, that'd probably be cool. Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah. yeah, that'll be a cool look. Yeah, yeah. Just swing away. It's, count it, you know? Wait. We'll go for the darker one. 
Uh, it's not. I kind of like this one. Yeah, let's say that. A, that's an interesting color. Which one's smooth? Yeah, it's like an, this one's smoother. This one. Yeah, yeah it's like this has a better coating. I think that's yeah, the, yeah, the coat went on better with the uh, regular. This not in our attempts. This will be fun. Dave says, "Hook me up with a chrome mustache." Dave Higgins. I say, let's do it, man. I, I'm, when I get pulled over, it's going to be awful. They're going to be like, sir, were you huffing silver paint this evening? And I'm going to be like, uh, no. And they're going to be all like, we don't believe you. Uh... Uh, all right, experiment time. Dum, dum, dum. Hold on to your asses, people. All right, so we got some problem with this nib. That's coming out pretty good. We are like dead, dead side. Ah, here we go. There, you can't have made it. It's sprayed. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, it should be good. Oh, look at that. Mm, you can't see this, but I can. Mm, look at that. That's amazing. Good call, Rick. Genius <laughs> time. I retract my entire premise. I don't know. This is not as. It's definitely not as flat, but you get a pretty nice silver. If you backed off, did we run out of spoons bit. already? Huh? Did we run out of spoons already? Uh, yeah, we got one up there. Yeah. Are you getting the, the chromed out look? It's not getting chromed out. Yeah. And normally that looks chromey, right? Yeah. This stuff usually I've thrown it through the airbrush and it came out almost mirror. <laughs> when you go to shake that, dude, you don't shake it. You turn it like side. All right. So the problem side. is it's spitting a little bit, which we kind of expect to coming off this thing. So you're getting some like really cool <laughs> dots of it, <laughs> where it's coming out super chromed, and then the rest is kind of like matted out. Uh, Michael said to bring out a certain model. With a <laughs> <in here>. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up, Michael. <laughs> I was, back funny thing. Can you back the tip off? You want to hire? Yeah. Michael, don't don't plug the uh, the guys that don't give us free pizza. <laughs> yeah, like if you could back it off, then. I don't know. Uh, what the hell am I talking about? <laughs> try the graphite one when we're at it, too. All right. Black. Well, let's try this one more time, see what happens. It, so you went higher, sitting up higher. It's got that orange peel look to it. <laughs> <laughs> you know what he's talking about, man? Orange peeling? <laughs> I sp spray yeah. the inside of the spoon. That's it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so here's our first baby? attempt. The airbrush that is? Uh, oh, I, yeah, I see the uh, splatter now. All right, that's not working too great. Let's try this other marker. So they also have graphite. <laughs> do the nubs do it's, different it's, things? It's supposed to be like the I, I don't know if those nubs are. Ooh, that's nice. That's that's the one where once it dries and you touch it, you it. Oh, you kind can of, yeah, it buff starts. it and then it starts turning into like a graphite color. Yeah. What? Yeah, this is like something that would be like magic markers. Either moldable coat, moldable <laughs> coats, or like used for make not, you want a sparkly. It didn't effect. work. Yeah. I'm going with officially. But it didn't that work. didn't work the way that pen can work. Let's put it that way. Fail. Fail on that one. I think it's but it was a good idea. I like it's that too heavy. Like that's what I'm thinking. I, just, I think it's probably something about how they make their nibs that are really um, do something. Hmm. This might work. Yeah, that's coming off a lot better. So we're getting some splattering. And then rock the can. But uh, that's the only problem is the splatters are messing up the nice clean coat on these. So it's something about... Uh, the gun markers, whatever their paint is, maybe they just lay flatter, because the sp or it's how those nibs are, but the splatters are what's messing that up. Otherwise, than that, it came out pretty nice. Um, that is definitely it's definitely got a bit of orange it. peel, <laughs> but it got a lot of splatters, so it's not getting. So I don't know if that's something self leveling. I bet, and I bet it doesn't really crush the paint inside the pen. Uh, yeah, I don't think it would <laughs> bone that much off. Right, so the air is going to be your expense on this type of deal. So something about how thin this stuff is and it lays down well on itself is what makes the gunner markers really work. I'm sure there's some other markers out there that are gonna work just as well, but as of right now, I can verify, and I, oh, metallic, yes, metallic. They showed me this when I saw it up at the Toy Fair. This worked really well. 
That don't work too well. We got the towel. Yeah, you see that graphite well. spoon? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> that was pretty good. Shake that can. Yeah. Yeah, just rock it. Here you go, man. Put it on your armpit. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I got a lighter if you want to mess with that. <laughs> yeah, that's what we need to put next to this thing. Open. All right, game. so still getting the we're, we're free. It, it's not as bad. It's there, but it's not as bad. So definitely the gunner markers work better. This is freezing. Um, but this is freezing too much, so we're not getting enough air pressure coming out. You bowl of but hot water, your hot water. That's nice. If you want to do a uh, trans am mode. Oh, trans right there. Trans am oh, mode, right there. Yeah, look at that. That's real nice. Oh wow. Yeah, that. So, or if you can again, you base it in like you can base in like a bronze, and then come over the top with that. that so there's some potential on this idea. Or if, I you think, want, or if you want to do a Sazabi high grade, salmon. Metallic. Yeah, I think the main thing would be is if you can get the attachments, and then you go on Amazon, get just the cheap compressor that they sell with the uh, airbrushes. And that's probably only like twenty five bucks. I feel, like, I feel like this is a, an experiment for like next next time we get together. Maybe yeah. even Saturday, just mess around. All oh, right. hey, Saturday! By the way, transition. Come out to the class and watch us play with this airbrush pen thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be amazing. So we will see if we can find some adapters in that little bit of time that will work into my compressor. So we can blow this thing up. But uh, Sean, we have a request from Michael Gilchrist for you to cram the can. Where, Michael? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you saw that, huh? <laughs> you know Listen, that's a drink. That's all I can say to that. That's a drink. That's that's Michael making everybody so drink. Twist off of here. I think you probably. We'll see how this works first. <laughs> so I think we'll go in reverse order, which I put this in. So that's what causes the air. Oh, jeez. Come out. <laughs> <laughs> Did the knob come off the end of it? It's not right. <laughs> can empty now? No. No. Oh. Huh, let's see. So this is what you're looking at. Just and there's weight to it still. Oh yeah, there's stuff in here. There's yeah, there's stuff in there. It's threaded. Oh. Yes, yeah, threaded. So that's why I think they're unique. That's I don't good. think I've seen cans like that that were always threaded. And you totally, it's reusable. You can stop. You can Unless stop. do they sell, does green gas tanks. cans have that? Well, propane, propane tanks. Propane it. Uh, you know mm. we can't. Don't don't put. I'm not touching that can after. The, you know where that brush go? What goes in that? What? Uh, hold on. What goes Whoa. in there? The brush. It's sort of sizzling. sizzling. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's Let's too see. full anyway. Let's see. Uh, all right, so I think uh, the, the hot water might be the way. In there, right? No, no it? that's like. Is, is my, that a coffee cup? Yeah, it's this a. This is my cup of noodle. <laughs> oh, are you, are you drinking shitty noodles? I have to ask. I have to ask. Why have I been putting the toilet brush in there? <laughs> Why have you been cleaning my toilet? <laughs> it's, it's a work thing. It's a work thing. Yeah, Patrick is saying that he's had for like a weekend that it's like very low intimidation for beginners and nice and happy not to clean it. There, there you go. So I think Patrick pretty much summed it up right there, and we, ver we can verify it. <laughs> I, I was can't let anybody else win, not even once, <laughs> never. See, see, Patrick gets where I'm coming from. So very, very low curve. I mean, you're not gonna be painting it. Like I said, you're not gonna be doing a lot of pre shading anything crazy with this. Laying base colors. If you want to change your Gundam color from a color that they make in Gundam markers, or if you can find some colors that work, obviously the graphite worked decently. I think you might have to mess around with the air pressure. You could probably get it to work. Um, you could definitely change colors. The chrome ain't going to fly, though. Chrome did not work, I don't think. Oh. Uh, maybe, I mean, we, we could, they, he has silver here, so that would probably come out nice. Gold is going to come out yeah, nice. This is... I think we need to try gold. Tell what from the flow up? What, what's the story? Is it correct? No. No, uh, yeah, but he, he, no, he no, can't no. beat the retributive gold, though. Yeah, you're not going to beat that. You could probably find the adapters for this. Mm. Yeah, it's not it all back together. Yeah, it looks very similar to just the regular airbrush we use. All right, let's try it one more time. <laughs> Where was your uh, top at? <laughs> oh, so you might want to find that. No, I caught it in my hand when it shot out. Oh, okay. He Mr. Miyagi oh, next yeah, to like, you. Should, you should, you should like put those the, flies and chopsticks. Take, take it off like, the can, put that piece on first. That's the directions? Yeah, I think it was this. This kick was first. I've been using the directions as a napkin. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. I really haven't. <laughs> Let's see. So, air cancer, air rushing, and hobby sweaters, right, but these may have a specific last. adapter to make them so we have all these carry. people on there. Does anybody know if other cans have these kind of threadings on the top? I I've haven't seen this around. I've never seen anything like that. 
don't know if you saw that all your airsoft. If we, if we had, uh, like, it'd be cool if the sprayed air for our computers worked, because you buy those in cases. Oh, mm, man. man. Like the guys on the uh, the intervention and shit? <laughs> <laughs> your huffers? Oh, uh, they're amazing. You, you, could, you could make a budget one of these and attach the marker to the tip of the, the air nozzle and <laughs> just oh, yeah. spray everything. All the paint would be out of it. Bite pump! You pump, I, I spray! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What's good, Gundam Jim? Right, it's the Gundam Jim. Forget the kitchen, it's the Gundam Jim. <laughs> uh, guess we're going to spray some because we're out of spoons now. Inside. Inside? Yep. Nice. Silver's come out. It's like every story has two sides. So does every oh, spoon. I actually probably oversprayed it. Back up on it. Every spoon has its darns. All right. I'll smell on that one that time. <laughs> All right. I think I oversprayed that. Yeah. I was used to spraying inside. This one. Hmm. Rock me. <laughs> <laughs> Keep on rocking me, baby. <laughs> Better for smaller kids in small surface areas. Yeah, if y'all were going to paint like Haro's for this Haro contest coming up next week, that would be a good... This this might be perfect for your first airbrush. All right, Haro. so we are way out of air pressure, I think, right now. But we actually made Pearl. Pearl Blue. Ooh. Interesting. <laughs> uh, little splotchy, but it's because of a little air pressure. I think you're reaching home. <laughs> would you be willing to paint the Nightingale and send no. that back? Right. <laughs> I think with if, if it had the right pressure. If you were making if you were making Easter eggs, that'd be great. That that that's a nice color. <laughs> I love that kit for my nails. Really? Actually, get a cheaper kit for you. Know. Might, might be quicker. Uh, Turn rumor has it we can buy one on, uh, at some other location for fairly cheap for nails. Mm, let's see. Patch says us takes time to keep. Redipping it back into the marker. No, no, no. You should ask Sean. Oh. He's got the scoop. He's got the scoop. All right. On that. So one that. Oh, someone's apparently using it for their Haro custom already. So. Oh, cool. Hey, hey. Uh, anybody who's done their Haro, do not send them early. I read wants to be surprised. He doesn't want to see any pictures or hear any stories. That's his words, not mine. <laughs> I, me personally, you could email them all day. I love your horrors, but I rad doesn't want to see them. He doesn't want to deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> He's got too much work with air quotes to do. <laughs> work. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, and this way you're not tainting the pool. He doesn't get bored of looking at your kit. Yeah, I just want to be surprised. I'm like, ah, oh, that's funny. I don't want to be like, see a week ahead and then be like, eh. This is looking pretty good from a distance. That middle one? Yeah. That crap fight looks good from a distance. I don't know what it looks like up close, but from a distance. Uh, Reminds me of my first it's... wife. Look uh, good from a distance. Uh, <laughs> far away look. Yeah. The further you get, the better she she's looks. She's a Monet, right. When you're yeah. up, all, it, when you're when you're up close on her, she's just a bunch of dots, but from far away, she looks beautiful. Yeah. Oh, well, can't do that. I tried to buff it. That did not work. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, it came right off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so something we were talking about, that's why I had this one on the table, is we're excited about Cross Silver well, West, which should be here, Patrick. hopefully, in a couple of weeks. Yeah, the, I love SDs in general, so getting some SDs that uh, have, like, new proportions and closer... The option, too. Yeah, yeah. I love the options. I just liked it. I, well, I liked... What, did, what were those? They were the Next Edge? Yeah, the Next Edge figures. Right. I liked that. Because they they definitely seemed like mm, I don't know they were just power. cool, and now we're kind of getting that like same proportion back in our it's lives in without yeah. the giant huge right price there. tag on those things. Those things had huge price tags. I think they were like thirty five bucks for like a, a figure, right? For an X Edge, yeah. Uh, they're in the twenty two to thirty dollar price range, uh, right? For most of them, right? So you're talking about. And that's a figure. Now, listen, I, I, I have my own personal biases work. from people that love figures and collecting. I totally support you. But I personally like to have a figure. Or, well, I like to have something to do beyond just having it in a box or taking it out of a box. I'm not going to play with it. I, I stopped, you know, that Power when I was me. much younger. 
<laughs> but um, sometimes I play with them, I'll be honest. But no, it's Take a drink. of value and whatnot. <laughs> but building is why I'm here. Painting, customizing is what I like to do. So having these model kits and V kits is what I like. And uh, those figures don't really lend, lend themselves to that. Now, if you're using a figure in a game, totally different story. Well, have you ever seen people take the um, robot spirits and then repaint them? That's kind of cool. So, hmm. I, I don't know if I've ever seen with the robot spirits repainting, but I know Figure Nerd on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Shout out to him in Florida. No longer a Philly resident, but I found them through Philly Connections. He does amazing stuff with his figures. He's putting them in... This, if you can check him out, figure nerd at Instagram. He does fun stuff. He he takes and he he makes full scenes, and he'll throw out like um, some like little stars, like the Batman capals yeah, yeah, yeah. and whatnot. From, like, and that stuff is not even like CG'd in. I mean, he no, does he, it in the scene. Yeah, like he'll go yeah. and co like little like. Yeah, his stuff is really cool. So like you'll get like uh, Punisher fighting in a bar with the whole background of the bar. Like, yeah, like insane. he threw somebody through a, a pinball machine. Yeah. In one. It was the coolest thing. Alley, alleyways and like his his photos look like they're straight out of a comic comic book scenes. Yeah. yeah, so they're they're yeah. really cool. They're fun. Punisher was fighting like three like Joe Blow GI Joes because when you talk with him or he does a little video or again caught him on with uh, the the nerd one time the Gundam nerd they were talking about what went into it and he was saying that he took like WWE uh, e figures and he just changed heads from some generic whatevers and he jammed one of the heads into like a little like made pinball machine <laughs> and it was the coolest gd thing i ever seen in my life it was, it was pretty cool anyway so yeah i'm excited about which one are you gonna do first uh, what are you looking forward to well i to this day boo me hate me malign me i've never built any granddads i have no rx78s under my belt so you need I an mean, rx78 and i have an sd i wanted no, to monochrome no. it but no. I decided. Oh, well, that's no, that. not the only one. <laughs> no works of need either. I have. I, I've busy I've never actually. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to do Granddad in the the black gray colorway. Right. That oh, would be cool. Well, I was saying that black, gray, crew? yellow, and red. Oh, oh, yeah, oh okay. The proto. I think it's the proto one. Is that right? Is that uh, the proto colorway? Oh yeah, that's make, like. I want to make a cane. Yeah, that's a long like beard. the. Yeah, like can actually that's like the <laughs> test colors for the. RX-78-1, and then yeah. I think you know, it was, like, closer to, like, what the original color scheme was supposed to be right. before, like, Clover's executive meddling. Yep. We got salt toys. Yep. So I think that'd be a kind of cool one to do a paint job on that with the new frame. Um, I saw a Nightingale, but I, I can't imagine that's going to be the so what I can't imagine that you're going to even Shut pick up, up a Nightingale. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't huh? imagine that yeah, you would even dare a part, say that would be a part be a SD silhouette line. I think so that's, how they gonna make it bigger though? It's gonna look so out of proportion. We can give it longer legs. It's gonna look mm -hmm. weird. But I mean, the double O or X that they have looks good. Um, so the, you're looking at the double good. O right there, right? Right. That's double uh -huh. O. Double O X -E, They all are the same suit to me. So it's like, why do you keep making the same suit? And there's SDs for days on them. Oh, this is <laughs> trying to make money? Okay. <laughs> Just checking. But still, like, I'm tired of seeing it. Like, this the, this one on the table is awesome. Um, again, hard to see, hard to read in the camera, but it's green. It's just got, it's gray. And this and is a high-grade mashed into a SD. So it's got the NBA Jam's big head. It's got the chest from an SD, but the legs and arms are chopped down from a high grade. And the shoulder binders that, are SD. Right, and that's kind of what they're going to look like is yeah. they're going to have slightly elongated SD proportions or slightly truncated HD proportions. Yeah. So it's like Yeah, just road. a little like more yeah, not as stretched. Yeah, yeah, not as stretched. Mine's out, definitely cause... stretched a little bit because I was chopping up parts from high grade, so it's definitely going to be a little longer. Mm. <laughs> but uh, and, but what I was pretty proud of, and this was my first like full on like hyper, like I'm doing everything custom. He has full posability. Not that everything will stay in. <laughs> It'll fall out, I'll have to put it back in. But everything is, everything's joined it. Everything moves. It's just, it's not very strong. <laughs> so, that, I just need to work on my joints on that one. But it was, <laughs> no, I was pretty trying good. to see if this was your phone or my phone. Yeah, <laughs> that's my phone. So I was pretty happy with that. He probably would stand too if he, but I like wanted him up in the air. I think I had him stand before. 
So yeah, I'm definitely excited about those. And maybe someday we'll get those SDs you wanted with the uh, the Mushu ones. Show, right, yeah. right. The Daisho Khan. Daisho Khan ones. So. Mm. I don't know what happened to those. I think they were a May release in Japan, but I don't know what's taking so long. Well, you know, the, the global positioning system hasn't caught up yet, so when you tilt, the axis of the Earth is thrown off May and July, and <laughs> before you know it, listen, we'll get those kits in November, and I'll be happy with that, because, you know oh, what? you got plenty of a backlog anyway. Oh, do I ever? Are you, Sean, what are you doing? Sean, what are you doing? <laughs> Sean's drawing me. <laughs> I actually mm. think he's drawing Bill. <laughs> Bill looked up finally. Bill is awake. I've mm. been awake. I never, never have enough double O kits. Excited about new SD frames. Yeah, how many of you guys are excited about the new SDs? Let's see here. My Sorry, not me to order. <laughs> my very first kits I'm were waiting. SD kits. SD kits are the, amazing. So I think they're super underrated. One of the, my first, mm. it wasn't my first, but one of my first like paint jobs was an SD. It was right. an SD San Andrew. It was the first time I entered a contest. It was an SD contest here at the store. Yeah, it was and, a sob story. No, no. <laughs> I'm just talking about how it, it was a fun build. I got to try a bunch of different stuff without fear or anxiety of ruining a kit. I had eight bucks or twelve. I had like eight bucks invested in the thing. I could have, I could have smashed it with a hammer, and who cares, you know? Except for the time after the fact. But I wasn't scared to fail on that. Is I think the value. Right. And fail I did, Sean. Thanks for the face. <laughs> Sean looked at me like what? Like so, you ain't never succeeded. I'm definitely, um, I usually, when a customer comes in and says, what should I build first, I usually send them the high grades, but I think when you're ready to start customizing, you should, and like painting, you should mess with the SD, because you, because yeah, it takes that fear point. away, it's eight, under $10 usually, and... I called it out exactly. It was exactly eight dollars and seventy four cents <laughs> with tax, right? <laughs> Zuck hit him up fifty six thousand. Yep. Zuck, I'm waiting. It. I don't know what happened. I know you didn't give Kanye his, but I'm asking for one percent of what Kanye asked for. Hook me up, Zuck. We're, we're buddies. First on Facebook. You were my first friend on Facebook. Come on, man. But uh, <laughs> who, was, who was Tom? Uh, was Tom, Tom was MySpace. That was MySpace, right? Tom was didn't, my didn't, first. Didn't, uh, Tom doesn't Zuck? have money like Zuck. Yeah, <laughs> Zuck was, Zuck was Tom, our first. Tom, play. Is, Tom is sitting in jail next to Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got a drink. <laughs> Wrap it up. I'm surprised you didn't say somebody else. You always say that for a uh, kind of nerd show. <laughs> oh, just to, uh, just to burn his ass. <laughs> but, you know, we'll be good. Oh, by the way, the, he's officially to be now referred to as the Gooch. Oh, yeah. Tim dropped it the other day, and I was like, the, the Gooch? <laughs> the Gooch? Well, it's Kawaguchi. Uh, the, oh, the Gooch. Okay, gotcha. And he referred to him as the Gooch, and I thought it was so funny because my brain, y'all know what I say when I hear the Gooch, when I hear them talk about Kawaguchi, my brain went right to Arnold Drummond, the bike store, and the Gooch. Right, yeah. <laughs> that's what I was thinking of. The and there. that's so funny because the, the Gooch... Took the bike from Arnold, right. right? But the bike store guy was the one that grabbed the wieners. <laughs> and dude, cow and gooch! It all worked out. Nonetheless, allegedly. And I'm the only one alleging that, so I don't even know. That's satire. Don't sue me, Vanda. There we go. This is how. Uh, nobody can see it, so it doesn't even fucking matter. So people can see. Uh, Put is, that on a stick. There you go. That's there. There's the pole. So now we got something to look at. Uh, <laughs> you you want to? Right it's very yeah. lifelike. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Yeah. Wait. You're gonna need a bigger. You're gonna need a bigger stick. <laughs> <laughs> you got a round stick back there. It needs a cigarette hanging out of his mouth too. Right. Oh my god. It's box. Yeah, zoom it in. That's that's nuts. It does look. It bears a striking resemblance. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. Really? I can almost make out my my face. This is, yeah, this is creepy. This is a, a 100. There you go. <laughs> right? <laughs> I've seen you on TV. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like America's most that. wanted. <laughs> so, I had a Have question you for you guys. Guy? <laughs> Otherwise, than packing your uh, Gundams and putting them back in the closet, how do you display there your you Gundams? Go. Oh. I think the a lot of people do the. Uh, <laughs> what I like to do is, <laughs> a lot of people obviously do the IKEA cases because they're relatively inexpensive, and 
you stack a couple next to each other for those people that are crazy collections. <laughs> and your wife won't get mad at you because they look kind of nice. Right, because they look like decor. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, full of toys. <laughs> they're not toys. They're how many models. how many guys out there display their Gundams in the living room? <laughs> who can get away with that? I, I do. Who are married or <laughs> with somebody for a while? <laughs> oh, if yeah, you do I'll that, you won't stay married for a long time. Right. <laughs> I was with somebody. Uh, well, you're gonna, gonna, gonna have the girl who builds with you. I'm sure that couple that came in earlier, they probably rocked their stuff in the living room because she's mm. going with them. So weird. <laughs> <laughs> I said that part quiet. I fi- we found something that I don't want to talk about. But oh, wait, can I ask the? Uh, I'm so gonna put you on the spot. Does everyone have to take ten drinks now since you actually had to stop? <laughs> I've actually gone offended people that I like. This is great, Mrs. I'd love to ask you a question, Mrs. The Chef. Do you collect? <laughs> So, we know that you don't generally build, but do you have, like, little tchotchkes that you collect? No, there's none. She says no. She's shaking. No. No collections at all. She collects Irad's checks. That's what she collects. (laughs) That's great. Okay. Because I was thinking about how could I incorporate, how could I justify having my case somewhere in the house? Yeah, in the basement. Well, that's that's (laughs) the missus plan. My plan was in the, the den. And what we compromised was in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> but I said, if I could get her collecting something, I might be able to. And she said that she collects, A, my paychecks, and B, nice china and pictures and murals and apparently Which Gundams don't look good next to nice china. Gundams do not. Just, have them, just have them holding up the china. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> just like one on each side. Just, no, it's not flying, guys. <laughs> have, your, have your kid make a desert diorama on one of the walls one day while you both are at work. And then you have a diorama, and you have to put the gun to models. If my kid paints on any of my walls, you're coming over and repainting. <laughs> <laughs> as long as he's not watching us, it's not it's not my idea. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, it's uh, yeah, it's it's. Where do you display them? That's really the tough Just thing. Just paint the wall in the same scheme as the Gundam, and then put the Gundam in the wall. Yeah, and when does? Or to cover it up. And when do Gundams... <laughs> Camouflage. <laughs> when do Gundams stop being toys and start being art? Uh. Is there ever a point? Because, like, I have truth. So here's how I come when to this thought. you make money from it. When there's dollars to be made. <laughs> yes. She does collect dollars. See? <laughs> no joke. I love her. <laughs> the, second, the second you do more than just a straight build I is when so. it becomes art. Yeah. Because... It's you're progressing your talent to make it look better, to make it look like something but, on the box. So well, you really can't it. put it up on a shelf in your living room, though, right? If you if you paint it, uh, hey Tim, are you watching? Are you in your living room? Because you got some art, <laughs> right? Right. Yeah. You know, and I bet no. He's, and I bet no. He's, and I he's, bet he's no. got something to be proud of, though. Yeah, I know, but there's a basic experience you that that's in the living room. <laughs> See, here's here's my take on that. Man, it gets I. Part. I have my own place, and Jealous. if I'm a, most likely I'm gonna buy my own house. And when I do uh, get with somebody, and they're like, "Hey, take this out of here," I'm like, "Get out of my house." But, uh, no. Okay, because I, I heard earlier, Sean, you would have a Gundam room, which sounds like a small bedroom dedicated to Gundam, so you can yeah. close the door so your lady friends don't most see of them, that. That's where most of them. That's where most of them. That's where they go. Uh, the storage uh, and everything uh, else. Uh, they can be all over the place. And then she comes into your creep freak room of Gundams. Yeah. <laughs> and then she's like, you ain't going to have done. to ask her I'm to done. leave. Trust <laughs> that. <laughs> Trust that. Like, this is the Gundam universe in here. Like, I'm going to have space. I'm going to have space up here. I'm going to have land battles down there. It's going to be a room of Gundam skirmish. <laughs> once, once you're done with her. And... You know, <laughs> you don't want to tell her to leave, but like, hey, babe, check this out. <laughs> yeah, well, you want to leave? Right. Oh, right. That's a, that's well, a test. Well, you go to the bathroom. That's a test. You need the door right. open. That's Call a test. Uber. <laughs> With the Uber number next like, to the let me door. Just, Uber don't come around here. Like, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Leave the door cracked. I'm going to go to the bathroom. And then if she's still there, then, all right, that's, that's the one. Yeah, maybe you're, you're, you're the one. You're Right. Yeah, yeah. She make make, make sure that, that goes, room's right next to the bathroom. Right. The one that doesn't run out, you better have... Get the ring and keep it in the medicine cabinet because that's going to be the move. No, You're the gonna... ring's in the Gundam room. Yeah. You can find the ring in the yeah, Gundam like, room. Like, Indiana Jones are going to have to remove the ring and a, and a boulder's going to start catching. A, a fucking space... A fucking space plant station is just going to... One of the fucking... It's going to be a colony. Going colony, fall. that's it. Right. <laughs> Straight down... What's, what's Stardust Memory had the big circle around his back? 
the gazer. The gazer, right? Yeah, so you have the ring like in the middle. Of them. <laughs> and you can find it in the room. Jesus. Wow. Or, or so, like the guy who uh, so had that uh, Gundam with all the the high school rings in his knees. Things <laughs> he had like incorporated into the build. <laughs> oh yeah, that that was amazing. <laughs> So, so I've seen a lot of builders with kids, so I know that there's people out there getting laid that build. But but yeah. what? How do we incorporate them into our lives? <laughs> how do we incorporate incorporate Gundam into that? Ah, you know, so what? Just, it, it's well, such a double standard because if a guy walks into a girl's house and you got mad Gundams, I think he's down with that. As long yeah, as yeah. right, he's that in that but, kind of okay, anime but let's lifestyle. say she's got like. T- Tiger Beat posters all over her wall. Like the what? Re- what? Teen, teen, you know Tiger Beat? No. Oh, even the chick doesn't know. This is <laughs> We're, I'm what like, is Paul? No. So, so bad. That's so embarrassing. Oh no, not at all. Listen, <laughs> Tiger Beat magazine was a teeny bopper magazine from 1986. New Kids on the Block, hot shit. Okay. You know, Joey McIntyre, he's hot. What? Well, I'd be kind of freaked out because she's living in the eighties still. <laughs> right. <laughs> or, or you walk. You like, go, is this your your, you your room down from when you were ten? She invites you over. She does the courtesy. Not that it matters to any one of us because if we make it into the bedroom, dude, that thing could have a fucking. <laughs> dude, a dinosaur could be in there, and there, no, a dragon could be in there. I'm not running from that shit. I'm staying. But new kids on or nine hundred two one zero pillows all over the bed. <laughs> Jason well, how about if she's into anime? Like she's got one of those, like, uh, the full body pillows. I'm always. Of a chick or a dude? Of a Yuri dude, uh, Yuri on Ice. Do I have to, do I have to cuddle? You gotta cuddle with them, though. Bet. <laughs> Double down. She's a keeper. She knows what she wants out of life. <laughs> no. Yeah, so. Like, we have to sit him up so he can watch. We're like. <laughs> <laughs> that would be. He might be, be a little jealous. <laughs> Show who the alpha male is. Right? right? <laughs> yeah, but you, you watch, know what? You're doing it. You're right. coming up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, give him, you give him the eye. <laughs> you're looking you back over. I'm all up against her. How do you like that? Until the facial expression on the pillow changes. <laughs> then, it's, then it's time to get up. All right. All right. It, she's out. turning around while you weren't looking. That's another expression on the pillow. Don't get the arm moves. The arm moves. The hands a little south. All of a sudden, you're like, fucking. Wait, wait, wait. What? She looked. The arm goes down. Right. Like, what? Like, what? We have derailed. (laughs) Barely. The the arm that goes around you. Got you. Michael wants to... Michael wants me to spoon, or wants somebody to spoon with the Yuri doll. Uh, Let's see. Oh! Who who guessed that the, um... The Hungates had that joint in their living room. Which they one? build together. The family that builds oh, together. Yeah, yeah. Done. Official. Oh, they just commented? Uh, they totally did. <laughs> and then that means they totally heard me being all messed up. Oh, man. Yeah, Care you. of the Gundam <laughs> Kitchen. <laughs> that guy's an asshole. Oh, Sean, you need to make a second face with the with the blushies. Right. <laughs> wow. I am not actually humble. Wow. They, I've been humble. God bless you guys. You are role models. Real rap. Like, I want to put Gundam in my living room. Will you both marry me? I don't know. They could adopt you, maybe. That's weird. How can we be married and. The, I don't know. It's the kind of anime you probably watch. That is creepy. <laughs> now that you talk about it, right? Now that it makes sense. To Speak, me. Speaking of which, have you watched Shuffle yet? No. No, which I've one? been moving. So, so what are you doing been, with your life? I've, I've been moving. walls. What was it? Was it shuffle? Shuffle. Shuffle. I've heard of. What was this the new? Um, nah, it's been that's been old one. Now it predates that. Uh, non animator related video that was or movie that was watched. Two of them. Ready Player One. Mm-hmm. It was pretty good. I heard Got, it. I gave it my thumb up. And then the other movie was we talked about it a quiet place mm-hmm. the other day. I give it a thumb up, but not for you to all go and be like, this movie's going to be bomb. You just need to see it. That's all. It's, it's not bomb. It's not not bomb. He's actually really animated with his hands, but you can't see it. That's right. <laughs> so. How about Crazy Uncle? You want to be Crazy Uncle? Crazy Uncle? Is that the question? <laughs> crazy Uncle? I'm so in. So in for Crazy Uncle. Oh, oh man. man. He promises oh, to get annihilated during Thanksgiving and Christmas. <laughs> All right, guys, I think we're 
ready to wrap it up. Um, so definitely check us out. Need this a wrap it up box. <laughs> <laughs> and the music comes on. Then. Yeah. Then when you're doing the award speech, music comes on. <laughs> right. And then you get a gentle hand on your shoulder from the nine hundred two one zero doll that was, or the, the Yuri fucking doll in the corner. And you're gentle like, oh, on your shoulder. He's gonna wrap his arms around it. Right. Like, the full Yuri. Oh god, that's crazy. So that's my biggest fear in life. Uh, thanks for checking in. Thanks for sharing. Definitely catch us this Saturday. Like, Tim Child of Mecca, Justinius Bills for uh, a for introduction way. to um, <laughs> modding your kits with uh, Styrene and Builder Parts. Don't and bring your kids. No, do bring your do kids. Do bring your kids. Yeah, it's a good time. Maybe it's later it gets a little more it's, fun. It's totally good. I probably won't be here, so you definitely can bring uh, your kids. I won't be here. <laughs> or I will. I'm just saying that. I don't know. Fans decide. Hit hit the Instagram up. Instagram? I don't know. I make stuff up all the time. <laughs> I just say shit. I'm saying anybody's paying attention. Uh, like then the it. following Saturday is potluck. the potluck with the Haro contest. Dum, dum, dum. Online, in store. Check out the events. They're posted. I can't remember all the date, the time periods of when stuff to do. So check that out. I need a box. Yeah. Um, Sean needs a box. You need a Pelican box. Pad it, and especially cut out with the shape of your horror. <laughs> and for those of you who haven't heard, there is a lot of smack talk. Check the Reddit posts about the Gundam Kitchen, the the Gundam Kitchen horror contest. There is a lot of people repping, talking about they're taking first. They're taking first. I've heard oh, really? at least four different people say that they're winning yeah, it all. Prove them wrong. Come who out said, here. Who's, who said that? I'm not going to say names, Sean. <laughs> was it you? Oh no, I, I'm not even entering because I, I, I suck. Uh, it takes too long to build. What else? So good. Uh, and look for the Kickstarter very soon for the new store. Uh, and I think that's about it. So same old flavor, same great new taste. Yeah. So thanks to Zach, Bill, my wife, Mrs. Chef, <laughs> <laughs> Sean, and Paul. Peace. Yeah. Catch you later. later. Store manager, really. Oh, he's in I, like, I like that you wave your hand and nobody can see I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> At least get on the camera. <laughs> right. I'm so far off.